Now it, it used to be a hidden gem of the West. Now it is a gem of a resort here in the West Valley. It's the Wigwam, and I'm with Chef Adam here at Litchfield. Welcome, Brad. Thank you very much. This is a great restaurant to come to if you're staying at the resort or not, right? Yeah, this is uh, kind of a high-end restaurant with a rustic feel, and people come here for their birthday anniversaries or just treating their friends and family. Yeah, what I also understand too, we're actually in the kitchen here, which is in the dining room. That's crazy. Yeah, it's very cool. People see us cook their entrees for them. So, very yeah. neat. Yeah. Anytime. I yeah. like this. So, sorry for cutting you off there because I want to get to the food, what I'm seeing oh, right yeah, now, yeah. which is Absolutely. so delicious. Because this is the fall menu that you're excited about. Um, but some items actually are always here. You just change them a little bit. Correct. And so let's start off here with a little appetizer. So we call this our chef's board, and it's really just a charcuterie and cheese board. But we uh, kind of make it very fluid because we have like pickled strawberries on that one. We have brandy blueberry uh, goat cheese. It all goes well with the very fine prosciutto, salami, and other cheeses that we have available. Very good. Okay. Let's talk salads. So again, we'll have a uh, fall salad that has pears and blue cheese. Very yummy. And delicious looking. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, I'm a big Brussels sprouts person, and I can eat Brussels sprouts anytime, but I like how people change them up for the fall. Right, and we have many different side accompaniments besides Brussels sprouts. We sear them, get that nice horseradishy taste to them um, that people really enjoy. I love it. Okay, what's this dish up here? So this is for our vegetarian friends, okay? Uh, but we have a what we call cauliflower steak that we uh, poach the cauliflower and saffron, and then we have red pepper coulis, a quinoa pilaf, and some uh, goat feta. Oh my goodness, you know, I'm not a vegetarian, but I would eat that. That uh, sounds so good. Carnivores like it too. I like so, it. So, yes. I love it. Speaking of carnivores, let's get down to that beauty right there. Yeah, so <laughs> this is a big draw for this restaurant is all our steaks are prime, high quality, and they're on a pecan wood fire grilled. Really gives a nice smokiness and char to it. Okay, and then the steak behind it, right? Because that's another steak behind? That's a prime filet, and that's kind of our signature dish with Gouda Mac, uh, bacon seared uh, green beans, and a little soy molasses on the bottom there. Oh my goodness. Okay, now the one down in front. That, that's a starter. That's a maple glazed uh, pork belly that we make in-house. Very luscious, very delicious. Has uh, sweet potatoes on the bottom, and then an apple and Brussels sprout slaw to accompany oh it. Oh my God, so delicious. Okay, let's talk desserts. We have a uh, lemon and curd pavlova, which is actually also, there's no dairy, it's vegetarian as well. And then our other dessert is a, what we call a chocolate bomb. Oh my goodness, so delicious. And also we know you have a great wine list and a bar that can take yeah, care of Yeah, very extensive everybody. wine list. And we also have other great uh, functions that happen here, like a wine dinner series that happen once a month. And you have to go to the Wigwam's website to go and sign up for that. But that's one of the best things around here. Oh my goodness, okay. It's also a time when we start to see some really delicious fish um, dishes out there. You guys are excited to put this one on the menu. Yeah, aren't we you? have some Pacific halibut we can see here uh, to show you guys uh, right here. All right, let's go make it. Okay, chef, what do you got yeah. for us? So we got this nice fresh piece of halibut that we're going to sear. I seasoned it with a little coriander. I'm going to sear that coriander into the fish, give it a really nice flavor. All right. Now I have this nice hot cast iron grill. We sear everything with cast iron, gives really good caramelization to all our food. Now, I'm, I'm just gonna try to look for a sear, and once I see that a sear is trying to happen, I'm gonna put it right in the oven. So I have that ready, and I have the fish ready. All right. I'm gonna start plating what we do for the halibut, and I have this butternut puree. All right. Nice fall flavor, Ooh. nice color. I'm gonna start with that, give a little color to our plate. So oh I got this nice, luscious Parmesan risotto. Oh. That's the base for it. There we go. And then, and how long do you usually go into the uh, oven for? So it depends on how thick the fish is, but the rule of thumb is um, every inch of fish takes about two minutes in the oven, oh about 400 degrees. So, okay, let's move this one out of the way because I, I want to see this beauty here. Now, is this all ready to go or is there some more little touch So to it? again, it's fall. So I got this nice kind of apple salad. Oh. Just the pear. I'm gonna put it right on top of there. Give it a little color. Give a little freshness to it. All set. And there you go. I That's love our this. Pacific halibut seared with coriander with a Parmesan risotto and butternut squash puree. And it's part of the uh, of course fall menu here at mm -hmm. Litchfield that you can uh, come in. Reservations are recommended. Uh, but they do do walk-ins, which yes. is really nice, here at the Wigwam. So, as a professional TV person, you know, I must give uh, it a try. Yeah, we gotta try it out. So, let's just make sure. <laughs> All right. 
There we go, and <laughs> welcome to food. So you must travel with your own utensils. So I gotta give a try to this right here. Oh, look at this. Mm-hmm.